Hey bro, Sue here. I've recently been going back to streaming and some people have asked on stream what mods I use, so I decided to make a video about it. First of all, I would like to say that I prefer playing a game as close as possible to how the developers originally envisioned playing their game. So the mods I use are all quality of life mods and don't overhaul or change any of the core game mechanics. I made a quick summary of mods that allow new and older players to improve their vanilla game experience. So basically these recommendations are purely to improve upon the vanilla gameplay and might be especially helpful to the learning curve for newer players. A lot of mods have better and updated alternatives but are outdated on the Nexus page and are somewhat difficult to find. So without further ado, here's my list. First off, you want to get these two mods, modding script hooks and MSU. Most of my recommended mods require these two mods in order to function. Probably the most important mod of all in my opinion is the Swifter mod, which is basically the successor of the faster mod and event frequency mod combined. The animation times in vanilla can slow down the pace of your game a lot during combat or on the world map. Especially if you're a veteran player, you sometimes just want to get over with some of the more grindy and unexciting battles. Or when you're traveling a great distance on the map, you can always slow down to normal speeds again when you're fighting a more thrilling battle. The outdated faster mod broke event frequency because events were not checked per frame proportionally to the game's speed. With the swifter mod however, event frequency doesn't get bugged when you speed up the game on the world map. Next up is pause without conflicts. This mod directly complements swifter. It pauses the game when you side an enemy party. This is very useful when you're traveling the map or doing one of those long caravan missions at full speed with swifter. Getting swifter without this mod however is like driving while being drunk. Trust me when I say you don't want to travel at full speed like a maniac without this auto pause mod, as Necro Savants police are eagerly waiting to end the save files of players that aren't traveling responsibly. Next in line is Settlement Situations. This is the successor of the outdated Settlement Situations tooltips mod. It very easily shows you at a quick glance what the modifiers in the top right corner of a settlement do. It saves you from having to open up a wiki page and having to look up each situation manually. Coming up is backgrounds and attribute ranges. This mod is also extremely useful and time saving to newer players learning the game as it shows you what the stat ranges of a certain background are. Even for veterans of the game it saves a shit ton of time. No more need to open wiki pages to compare how well you rolled your bricklayers, beggars and melon muggers. One of my recent favorite mods is Extra Keybinds. You can now get quick hands IRL and switch weapons without having to go to the inventory tab every single time. It perfectly mixes with the UI as well and I can't really imagine playing without it anymore. The quality of life improvement is huge if your squad has a lot of hybrids or fat neutrals. Visual Skills is another great mod by Endurial that shows you which characters have Killing Frenzy and Headhunter active on the battlefield. Just like that you don't have to keep tabs on every single individual anymore. Colored Rumors is another great quality of life mod that lets you see important information very quickly when you're spending money on Tavern Rumors. Locations will be colored in blue and famed items in red. Another honorable mention is turn order numbers. I personally don't use it as I find the numbers a bit too distracting and taking away from the vanilla visuals, but you might find this interesting if you want to know on the get go who goes when in their turn. If you found the video informative please leave a like and subscribe and consider following me on my socials as that is really the best way to support me as your content creator. Thank you so much. Bye.